Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this reading. This is actually a channel message that I had from a while back. I just remember that that actually, <laughs> that I actually had the channel message because at one point, um, I've been putting them in my notes, but I'll be forgetting about them. So, like, if I don't make a TikTok video about them, I'll be forgetting about them sometimes. So, y'all, I've been moving fast. Um, and I've been having a lot to do. So, let's go ahead and get right into this. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box down below. Alright, um, don't judge a girl. It's early in the morning. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Alright, so, let's go ahead and do this channel message. Um, let me go in my notes to see where it is. Okay, so this is the channel message right here. Child, this shit is long as hell. <gasps> mm, excuse me, so let's talk about it. So, okay, yes. I'm also going to be using the Enchanted Map deck okay so it says that your ex is being caught up for stalking your new person or your sneaky link okay um this person um whoever your ex is they have a new girl or they have a new guy or they already have somebody new they're entertaining here or they're already exploring their options um and i feel like for some of you guys if you're divorcing this person or you're separating from this person either um the divorce papers are final you've already got everything into the working or more importantly like i said um this separation this breakup or you know this uh, what do they call it um shared custody okay battle is almost over for some of you guys here this spiritual contract that you share with this person if this is like your ex and you don't have any kids with them you're not married to them it's almost null and void okay or it's being taken care of in spiritual courts right now but yeah this person is about to get caught for um yeah coming apart so like i said whoever your ex is they're going to get um caught up for stalking you and your new person but this person has a new girl or guy in their energy but this person is stuck in the mud whoever they're dealing with it now they don't realize that they have joined a pity party or whoever thinks that you know your ex or whoever it is is a fucking prize what well, man's trash is another man's treasure this is <laughs> you know they can have your trash okay um but yeah this person here feels frozen or delayed or longing here um, without you in their energy or without having um connection with you i'm also hearing this chris brown song and it goes like gotta know don't go so please don't run away i'm on my something like that's it goes like that what can i say don't go gotta know please don't run away I think either that's Chris Brown or that's Childish Gambino. One of the two. Okay. Um, but let's talk about it. Whoever. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's use a different deck too. We're going to go ahead and use the. Whichever deck this is. I forgot the name of it. The blue deck. We're going to call it the blue deck. Okay. Um, so like I said. Then we have the cards here. We have the number five card. Which is the goblin energy. We have the number 55. Which is listening. So five, five, five. This is like a change. in the wind and the weather. That's being orchestrated for you. Hold on. Let me take this off my head. It's giving me a headache. Lace band too tight. But yeah. Five, five, five. So like I said. Not only are you listening. Or excuse me. Five, fifty, three. Yeah. I said five, five, five. But it's five, fifty, three. Okay. Like I said, this ex is, is realizing that, you know, them and all their spirits and attachments and, you know, 333 on a timestamp here, um, people they're dealing with or options they're keeping open is nothing up here to you. I feel like you've had pure intentions for this person and your intentions is key. And I feel like if you're coming apart and you're no longer dealing with this person, you're realizing their intentions in the matter as well. It's like two sides of the story here. Okay. Yeah. This is an orchestrated move. So whoever this masculine or feminine is, whoever your ex is, um, this person is either stalking your home and has been stalking your movements here. Like I said, death card, nine of wands um, recently here. Ever since you ended things with them, you go to them, you cut them off or you're no longer dealing with them. The nine of wands, this person's undecided how to pursue you or how to go on. You know how somebody say there's life after SWAT or there's life after this or, you know, life after serving time or life after whatever. This is a very tumultuous or very um, impactful relationship or relation or, you know, so contract that you and this person shared, okay? And now this person um, doesn't have the strength to carry on or, you know, they may feel weakened here because they were also feeding off of your energy here. Um, but whoever this person was, they've been in your energy so much that, you know, they've been crying, nine of swords. This person's been crying. They've been waking up thinking about you every time, you know, something reminds them of you or 
one point this is like one of their worst fears coming into play into their life and they have nothing to do or they have no choice but to respect it okay this person has a lot of hidden emotions and truths they want to say to you here or things that are frustrating them or this is something that's also pulling like you know it's a hollow victory it's like they got what they wanted or more importantly you, somebody in the matter got what they wanted here but i feel like you know it's worse this person still has a bone to pick with you or um they have still have something they want to say to you okay hold on not a pinnacles but i'm hearing that song by denise williams free and I just want to be free. I've been listening to that for a good little minute. Um, I've been telling that song a lot for you guys here. All right. And I'm also hearing that song by Patti LaBelle. Somebody loves you, baby. Okay, but yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles, I just like what's going on. You, you're, you're content. You have your peace of mind or your peace is restored. Your peace is protected. I have triple nines here. Nine, nine, nine. 999 let me hear my little vape okay hey domino hey boobs yeah but I, I feel like that's what's going on with this with this person here it come out of the king of swords energy when you finally cut them off or you finally gave them a piece of your mind here or i'm hearing a abrasive action not evasive but abrasive action like this kind of rubbed in the wrong way yeah, five of wands. I feel like this caused some type of conflict or chaos for them, or brought this to light. Or maybe you got tired of arguing with or arguing with them here. Okay, now this person's at war with themselves, or they're having a mental war. Okay, mental world war three, or having a lot of um situations in their mind where they're thinking like, damn, what the actual fuck? Yeah. Yeah, with the five of cups in this person feel like they not only lost you, they lost the person they had in their corner. Or there's no like there's something to salvage here. And the only thing you have to do is they can't even pick up their pride, they didn't see their emotions. This person could have had a third party on you. Or like I said, this person is sad as fuck. Cause like I said, this person here is has been not only stalking you, all in your bushes, all on your shit trying to out what you got going on. But they were stalking a new person here. They found out you got a new person or you're involved with somebody and that's hurting their heart. A shock to their pride here. Yeah, four of swords. This person wishes to... Ooh, this person couldn't be having like suicidal thoughts here. Or, or either they're sick and tired. Like they sick. Like that song by Neo. I'm so sick of love songs. So tired of tears. So done with vision. You were still here. Like this is how this person feels. But like I said, Emperor Car here. You standing on business. Like, you're, you're showing masculine energy here. You could even be a man. Um, but most of these cards have men on them. So, like I said, this could be your, your ex could be a man. Or, like I said, you're standing either masculine energy or you're standing on business. Uh, okay? But, yeah, this person here has found some type of evidence. Or they've been lurking too hard and they got their feelings hurt recently as well. Or they got more hurt. Yeah, because the person realized that, um, yeah, whoever that you've been dealing with here whoever that you're going to be dealing with here like i said three swords the moon card this person is sneaking the what they don't belong with now they feelings is hurt so they realize you're dealing with somebody else well you're no longer dealing with them in their bullshit whoever this ex is of yours like i said your insecurities are showing you may have triggered this person's insecurities here or like they could have been insecure and i feel like you know um you may have caught on to the insecurities here or the shit that they did based off of the, the reason why they were insecure you caught them also you could have caught them doing some shit that ain't have no motherfucking business here yeah this person's a big fat fucking liar you could have caught them lying here or caught them doing things out of insecurity or just caught them doing shit that don't have no business but it says don't change for anyone like that song and it goes like don't change don't change girl and it goes like just stay how you are I think it's by the Izzy Brothers, or is that the Spinners? I don't know who that's by, but I, I, that's my shit. But like I said, whoever this ex is of yours here, like they realized that you were showing them grace, um, or they were protected by your grace, your spiritual energy, you know, your auric field. Because when you're dealing with somebody who's spiritual, not only do you get their protection, you get their abundance, you get all that stuff. So you have to be really careful of who you're dealing with. And then I have the card, I remember everything. So whatever they were lying about here, or like whenever they would tell their lies, I like they don't know something or remember something or whatever the fuck it is. Now this person is sitting back realizing everything they lied to you about here. Or how many times you cut them slack, or how many times you gave them grace, or maybe you forgave them, or you know, 
you grace them with your presence okay now they realizing that somebody else is going to get this and they're no longer going to be able to get it okay yep also whoever this ex is like whatever that you're insecure about here they could have belittled you over like your looks your job your title or like things that you can't change here okay for some of you guys there could be certain things or qualities or shit with yourself that you cannot change just it is what it is or belittled you a lot about your looks your weight your hair your job your money your finances your family i don't know things of this nature or your addictions or what you have going on or your vices um or whatever it was or whatever they felt like was insecure making you feel insecure made you feel less than or make you feel like you're not worth it or you know tainted your image this person belittled you about these things whether it was in front of your face or behind your back here all right but um then also when i was chilling this message i got a couple songs so i got the girl is mine by michael jackson and the excerpt in there when it was like she when michael jackson said she said like the love of me she can love a number and Justin McCartney was like, I don't believe it. Mine, mine, the girl is mine, mine, mine. So like I said, this person could even be going back and forth spiritually with you, um, your new person and, and them. Okay. Oh, child. But yeah, it's like two masculine energies or like two energies, period, fighting over you. But this is not a physical fight here. This is kind of like an energetic fight, like telepathic communication is involved here as well. But then again, the thing is that this person has a brand new girl. They have a brand new girl. But they still worry about you. Or they have a brand new guy. And they're still worried about you. Yeah, well, with the Queen of Swords energy here. And then we do have the Nine of Swords. I feel like they still worry about you. They're still crying over you. Crying over spill milk. And whoever this new girl or new guy, I wonder do they know about you. you whoever the new girl or new guy is, the Ten of Pentacles, this person knows about you. Ten of Pentacles. But some of you guys, this person is not even new. You just never knew about them. For others of you guys, this new person that they're dealing with here, Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups, this is somebody who they walked into the arms of after the, you left them or you turned your back on them. Seven of Pentacles and they realized like, okay, yeah, good news. I might as well go ahead and fuck with this person. I'm getting like, I put so much time, energy, and etc. into dealing with Aquarius to the point where it's like, okay, the only good news I have was to do with this third party, this Queen of Cups energy here. The Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Or they felt like they could speak their truth to this person. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody who started off as a friend or they met through a party or in like a social setting here out in the community. Yeah, but whoever their new guy or new girl is, um... Oh, child. It's like they know about you at the same time. It's like, mm, this person got a whole new girl or they got all this other stuff going on in their life and they just worry about you. But more importantly here, um, this person gets off being the only one for you. I don't know if like when you were dealing with them in the past, at one point, maybe they was the only one that you felt like they was the one. You felt like they were your soulmate, your twin flame, or they was the one. But I feel like you was the one to them. And at one point, y'all could have had mutual understanding. Like, you know, they was the one. You was the one. Whatever. But this person just kept on lying. Kept on doing sneaky, cheating, weird ass shit. Kept doing this. Kept doing that. This, that, 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 that. And then Four Pinnacles trying to save face. Save money or save shit for a rainy day. Like that song. Run that money up for a rainy day. Some, some, some. Baby, I'll be okay. I think that's Mo3. R.I.P. him. Think that's who it is who, who song that is yeah but now that this person's new girl whoever their new girl a guy is this person could be ranting and raving about this person's sex game or how big they thing is or whatever it is also but i feel like their new person is trying to like heal them and make them forget about you and trying to like seduce them and be seductive they got the song dance for you by beyonce okay but I feel like whoever this new person is, they could be talking to their friends and family about this person, but still saying that this person is caught up on you or bringing you up in the mix here. This new person could have curly hair, okay? 
or they could be talking about your hair, okay? But the, yeah, this this new love they have coming in, I feel like, you know, you already got your new love, but the new person they talking to, they talking about like, oh yeah, I got this new lover, I got this new this, new that, whatever the fuck it is. Whole time, this person here thinks they stole your man, okay? Or they stole your ideas, or they stole this person from you, when in reality, you didn't want this motherfucker no more. No way, okay? No way. I don't know if y'all been seeing that TikTok, and it was like, oh, you better go through that phone, okay? Yeah, I don't know how I go. And it was like, if you think you got a man and you don't got the passcode, you don't got a man. Get the passcode to that phone. Okay? And everybody's using that old lady, old man filter. Okay? <laughs> this is the energy. Also, whoever this new person they're dealing with here, they're going to try to chop this person with a baby. They're going to, like, this new, this new girl or guy they're dealing with is going to try to chop him with a baby. They don't even know that. They're needing to prove it. I feel like this person is trying to prove that they got your man or they got this person right where they want them. So, they're going to try to trap them with a baby. Yeah, what it says, she a baddie, she a hottie, she a smoker. The person trying to be a, a baddie, a hottie, and a smoker. But I feel like you're the original baddie. You're the original hottie. You're the original smoker. Or if you're a man, you that nigga. Okay? Yeah. You that nigga. You're him. Him or thee. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate when people say that shit. Oh, my God um but yeah whoever this new person is child they really think that they they doing some shit this person could be acting brand new here rip me out the place that i've been acting brand new bitches acting like they running shit they really ran through i spent 500 before i ever trap you but this person only got 500 dollars. i hate to bring you bad news baby okay because i'll try this person with a baby like i said this person may like to listen to mulatto or think that they really like ripping out the plastic like yeah if, let me rip this man out the plastic because I'm going to have him acting brand new. Like, no. Right, let me read this girl out of plastic. Yeah, this person could be... <laughs> Spirit is funny. Spirit is funny as fuck. This person could be, like, naive, gullible, or, like, slow. Or, like, in the mind. You know how old a person be like, ooh, you better than me. Or, child, a blind man can see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person's slow. <laughs> they're not even they're gullible. This could be why your person picked them. Okay. Oh, God. This could be like a pick me or pick Nisha. Um, but, yeah, now this person is also waiting on your downfall here because they didn't want your person. So, like, I already got your man. I already got your girl. And it's like, bitch, I don't fucking want they ass. Yeah, trick. This person here, I feel like um, they're trying to trigger your wounds or trying to trigger trauma. But I feel like you've already healed this shit. You don't give a fuck about none of that. But this person here, they don't realize that the wounds and shit that this other person got that they trying to heal. They claim they took from you whatever the fuck they got going on. Honey, whole time, they don't even know what they're in store for, baby. I'm trying to heal a motherfucker that's finna have you healing after you done dealing with them. Mm, 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 mm. Yup, yup, yup. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure I got the rest of the channel message. But yeah, but, I, but while all this is going on, why this new girl or new guy thinks they running shit with the hermit card, the moon card and the hermit card, this person here, your ex or your, your, your ex-husband, ex-wife, whoever it is, they really want a chance to win you back. They want a chance to win you back. Mm -hmm. They want a chance to show you that they motherfucking serious about you. Ten of Pentacles, that they got their money together. But more importantly, that you know that they want to build a legacy with you. Okay? Yeah, they want to show up as the King of Pentacles. Or if this is the female, they want to show up as, you know, motherly energy they can provide for their kids. You know how to do what they need to do. It. This is the man that they can provide the goods. They can bring home the bacon. But I feel like your ancestors here are in between this. And your ancestors, what are they saying? Yeah, King of Swords, you could be in the King of Swords energy. King of Swords versus King of Pentacles. We're not playing with them. We're not playing with this person. Okay? And I feel like what's going on, this conflict or like, you know, the secret competition with you and their new person, uh, as well as this person trying to compete with your new person. All right? Um, yeah, Five of Cups. I just feel like ain't shit to talk about. What call is Yeah, Knight of Swords. You may be getting this information or your ancestors is like blocking you and this person from dealing with each other, talking to each other, or even blocking the situation as a whole you got the knight of swords i feel like also what's going on here you know this person is taking the ill or they feel lost or whatever it is but i feel like maybe this person want a chance to win you back but they got all this chaotic energy and shit going on in the background yep page of wands this person here they out exploring they out over here trying to find their next fix or their next money mission or whatever the fuck it is but it's like this person here with the Emperor card and Death card, they already know they got to level up or, like, divinity-wise. This person has no divinity. Or, like, they trying to not only win you back, but win their divinity back. Win their spiritual ranking back here. But I feel like, you know, with you being the king and the queen of swords here, bitch, 
like I said with the lovers card here at one point you guys were ordained to be together be around each other or this was an ordained situation or soul contract and this person's realizing it but I feel like three cups it's a third party either involved here or whoever this third party is now or third parties in the past like I said you ruined it yeah, five of pentacles. Now this person is stuck with somebody who they really don't want to be with, seven of swords. But they were trying to really make plans here to get their family back or to get you back around them. But I feel like you're not paying them no mind. Eight of cups, devil card, top of card. You're letting the tower fall. Let the chips fall what they may. And I feel like you're keeping your head down in your bag and doing your own thing because you have the upper hand in the situation. Yeah, hey, this was and this person gonna keep stalking you, gonna keep looking at you. They don't even care if they new person catch them stalking you or being on your page. It's wands because they want this victory, they want the success. More importantly, Hermit Carl, they're trying to keep it hidden. Or they could be spending time alone here, being distant from this person. This person trying to figure it out. Why? But like I said, you got new shit coming in, new beginnings, new money. Um, you're going through a rebirth, more importantly, you have new creation or new ideas coming in. And I feel like what's going on with Three Pentacles, people is actually talking about you here. Or if y'all had a mutual friend with people y'all was dealing with, this is like the talk of the town. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, you're getting your blessings. You're getting exactly what you want, exactly what you need. And I feel like, Sherman Carl, you have overcame the situation here. Or like, more importantly, this new guy, this new girl won't smoke, but they ain't really talking about shit. Yeah, I just feel like the wheel is turning in your favor here and with the full car energy. All right, you rather be the fool than to look foolish. And I feel like with the King of Wands and the Seven of Cups, the person got all their options and all their shit they got going on. But behind closed doors, like I said, they having a mental fucking breakdown. They're losing their motherfucking mind, boss. They can't see nothing clear. They don't know if they're going to come in, but they do see you guys good news. They're watching all the good news that you have coming towards you, that you have going on now. And I feel like Magician Card is still manifesting you. Even though they got this Queen of Wands, who also losing their motherfucking mind over you. Um, whoever this third party is, whether it's a man or a female, trying to get its fucking attention here, trying to show off and shit. They have four swords. This person just really want to take a time out or a breather from life because I thought the justice card here, they feel like they owe you some type of justice or they are karmically indebted to you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but whoever the new man and new girl is, this person here, like I said, balancing act, this person's not going under a metamorphosis. Or this person realizing, like, you know, that they don't have to change. They trying to change and heal this person and balance out their life here because they think this person brings balance into their life, not realizing that, baby, the vibration that you own and what's going on with this person, the reason why they chose them is because this person couldn't metamorphosize. They couldn't change. And it couldn't vibrate high or fly high with you. Like that song, Fly High by um, Shy Glizzy. And this is why they're dealing with this person. Commitment. Yeah, and they're nurse. This is why they're dealing with them. They're going to have to realize that or they will. Like I said, ghost lands. This person is still thinking about their past. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but this new person is realizing that, you know, they're trying to keep on up and up or trying to keep moving. But they don't realize they're dealing with a bone cut then. They're dealing with this individual here who don't have good intentions or don't have good energy. You think you're killing them, you think you're going to find the best motherfucker in the world. Baby, you finna go for a ride, too. Okay? But I say, y'all gonna break up, too. You gonna be going through it, too. But like I said, unexpected visitor. This is somebody who they un unexpectedly met here. Or they crossed paths with this person. But like I said, they're gonna be in solitude with this person looking crazy as fuck. Okay? Because neither one of them is gonna learn this crucial lesson. Okay, why you over here stumbling to the unknown here? All right, and you you doing what you gotta be doing here. You're not dealing with this person. You're not coming together with them. Not never coming back. Yep. And this person here, they thought you was gonna be a follower or weak, but you're not. You're actually a fucking leader here. And I feel like you've led yourself out of the lion's den here. And now you may not know where you're going, but you know you're not staying there. Okay. Yeah. You're on the right path towards your, your treasure, your abundance, your love, and everything else that you got going on here. And like I said, and this person trying to telepathically um, go back and forth. With your new person, Aquarius. And your new person is like a, a breath of fresh air. They're like the, the fountain of youth here. Or your new person, you know, like I said, clarity. They're as clear as water. Or their emotions as clear as that. You know how you go to a beach or something. And the water's so clear, you can literally put it in a bottle. And you can see straight water like it's drinking water. Like, yeah, your, your, your new person is really refreshing. They don't got to be a water sign. It can be. But yeah, coming to life, I feel like you manifested this new person. Yep, you manifested them, and more importantly here, you, you sat by, you couldn't even celebrate for them. Or you did some type of preparation work before they came in. Yeah, and I feel like now you're able to indulge while this person is over here having a fucking storm. 
Because I feel like you said that prayer. You could have said that prayer. You know, that's some Walker prayer. Or you could have said that uh, Sierra prayer. I pray my next man, my next woman, whatever the fuck it is. Or, you know, because of the other prayer, you know, where you like, take everybody out of my life who holding me back, who don't got real love for me, all the other stuff. And I feel like your wish was granted. And you could have, right after that prayer, you could have said what you do want, not what you don't want. And boom, that's why you're getting it or you will be getting it. Okay. Let's see what a query to know in a situation for the collective. My bad, y'all. I'm fooling with these damn baby hairs. It's like once I get my hair done, I do not be knowing how to put these baby hairs back how they was. So, like I said, whoever your um, ex person is. Either they have a tracking device on you or their new person got a tracking device on them. Oh, this person here. Oh, okay. So this is their new person they're dealing with is going to either put a tracking device on them or try to track their whereabouts here. But this person, they don't realize that your ex is not really interested in them like that. Okay. They just see them as a trustworthy friend here. Okay. But yeah, this is about to be addressed. So this is going to be coming up in a second. But let's see what you need to know, Grace, on your side. Oh, God. Yeah, whoever this new person, the new guy, new girl, they want to be you. They want to be you. Okay? Yeah, eating in front of your enemies. Like I said, you could be eating at your buffet. Your table is being repaired in front of your enemies. And now you got the table. You finna have your table. All right? And this bitch want to be like you. Well, this nigga want to be like you so bad. Yeah, I'm getting like your person could have been skating on thin ice and then realized that, you know, you was dead to fuck serious. And whoever the new person is skating on thin ice too because I feel like you will really handle both of their ass. They want to act funny. Okay, but yeah, hidden cameras. This new person here also has hidden cameras either around them, okay, or is literally like on some punk type shit, like all in your fucking energy. But yeah, also July. So somebody could be a cancer. Maybe the new person is a cancer. Your cancer season July is July now. Um, one of these individuals could be having like weird sexual thoughts about you here, but the ancestor said no. I right, baby, touch not my anointed. I don't. Mm -mm. You want to deal with this person? Yeah, this this person is unhappy as fuck. And I feel like you speak to their soul, but I feel like, you know, this person is unhappy as hell. You you enlighten their soul and you light them up. But more importantly, I feel like you be speaking to your own soul. What else do you need to be knowing? Yeah, it says fuck your past. So your new person could be saying fuck your past here. Or your, oh shit, oh my God, your ancestor is really like popping the fuck up in this reading. Like fuck your past, fuck that person. Fuck, that, fuck my, what's that song called? Fuck your, fuck that hoe. Fuck my bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Leave me alone. I don't, I don't care what you own. It is what it is. It was what it was. Fuck my nigga. He ain't shit. Boy ain't good for number dick. Like, di okay, so that song with Glorilla and um, Money Back Yo could be a significance. But yeah, there will be like a hidden item, either like a camera or something gonna be revealed here or hidden information. But let's see what else is going on. Like I said, your name is holding weight, and these motherfuckers are pathetic as hell. Aquarius here. Also, like I said, this person was a past life dark fiend in your past life here. All right, they may even try to have a fake conversation with you. You, them or their new person may try to have a fake conversation with you or your new person. But this person is hurt, even though they know that you the shit like fleas. They may try to still keep the facade like they the shit like fleas. But whoever your new person is, let's see what's going on. A specific animal has a message for you, so they could be like a specific animal. All right. And you know, send a, a court with your new person here. But your new person may feel like that your old person is a fraud, okay? And they saying, like, say that shit or fuck that motherfucker here, okay? Of course, whoever your new person is, the person is going to be loyal to a fault here, okay? There may be, like, certain co-workers that ask about this person here, all right? Or, like I said, you get a lot of respect. Yeah, but more importantly, um, your new person, um, they loyal to a fault here. And I feel like what's going on, oh, this ex here could be having bisexual fantasies. And I feel like they out in this little ex of yours here. Or your new person is talking about how looks aren't everything. Like like I said, this person, your ex person may look good here. Or they new person may look good. Your person like, yeah, okay, whatever. But they ain't talking about shit. Also, yes, your ex partner did have a same sex lover here. That's why we have the bisexual fantasies card coming out. Okay. But yeah, I feel like you could be a southern bill, or maybe you have an accent. Just motherfucker. Yeah, but your new person want to give you a deep tissue massage here. Maybe you already got one. But your new person is saying um, that, or they're seeking advice. Your new person could be seeking advice about a situation. Because I feel like this old person is plotting on them. But 
It's like y'all, you and your new person being plotted in one, and it's like this person could be seeking advice here. All right, last card. Yeah, but yeah, your new person want to hang out with you. But I feel like these motherfuckers here try to um try to fake be cool, or your ex try to fake be cool to keep in touch with you or whoever you was dealing with. Yeah, but like I said, this is growing pains for your new person. I mean, excuse me, not for your new person, but for your old person. Maybe for you, it's growing pains. All right, but the game is to be uh, sold, not told. Yeah, I have master number 33, and I feel like sacrificed by a friend or family. So I feel like you could also deal with the situation here. Okay, or there could have been family members, yours or theirs, that was involved in the situation. But I feel like you need to continue to use your mind here, mind over matter. Okay, and like I said, these motherfuckers is stalking you and they lurking in the shadows. I'm not making this shit up, I promise y'all. Yeah, like I said, it's might have Aries placements here, but more importantly, or Aries season. All right, but yeah, dropping their ego is their last resort. Okay, motherfuckers know what's going on, but they don't want to drop their ego, drop their pride. But this was the reading. I really hope y'all did resonate with this. And I will definitely see you all later. Bye.